What is something that your parents did that you swore never to repeat to your own kids? I have two. Making fun of their interests and hobbies. It's why I don't like showing anyone my artwork. But I will do anything to support my kids and encourage them. If they tell me something in confidence, I'm not using that as a topic of conversation with others. Tell my parents anything and everyone knows. My mom just couldn't understand why I was getting mad when she was telling any yahoo at warm at the whole story of events leading up to my divorce. Both are why my mom wonders why I don't tell her anything. I don't want that for my kids. Edit I want to give a big hug to everyone who has responded with their own experiences. Let's all go live our dreams. Well I had a stepmother who insisted God was punishing my dad for being mean to her while blood was flowing out of his mouth eyes and nose. Then refused to drive him to the hospital. That always seemed like something I'd want to avoid. Any friends I would make she would tell me I couldn't hang out with them because of X reason. She grounded me for 6 months because I forgot to take out one of the trashes. Not that it mattered, I wasn't allowed to go anywhere anyway. There was one time that I had to stand in a corner in my underwear without heat because she heard a noise that woke her up and obviously it was me. Once I confessed I could go, I ended up lasting about 18 hours of insisting it wasn't me, ugly crying in the corner till like 3am at 8 years old. I had to endure 10 years of that because she kept emptying my dad's bank account every time he got paid so he couldn't afford a divorce lawyer. I hated that woman. I was spanked. I thought I'd grow up and spank too because I ended up okay and thought that's how you correct kids. But then as I got older I thought back to how I'd deal with other kids who made me mad or wouldn't listen to me. I hit them. It clicked this wasn't what I needed to do. Try to be controlling over my kid's life and blame all their problems on the other parent. Lecture. My mom could go on for asterisk h-o-u-r-s asterisk for even small misbehaviors. Somehow, it usually looped around to how I didn't keep my room clean, even though the rest of the house was just as much of a mess or worse. When I need to have a stern or serious discussion with my kids, I force myself to make my point in 5 minutes or less. I've even said stuff like, look, this is taking way too long, just don't do, disallowed thing, again, okay. I also apologize if I yell, as soon as I'm emotionally able to after an angry outburst. I don't remember mom ever doing that. Refuse to admit I was wrong. Be unapproachable. Come talk to me anytime about anything. Everything can be fixed. Use them as leverage against the other parent. Abuse them. Allow them to be abused by a significant other. Abandon them then return years later once they've grown. And try to cause them as much pain as possible for who knows why. I have four sons and I genuinely can't imagine doing most of what happened to me to them. Blows my mind. Get loaded in front of them. Growing up in a family of drunks has soured me for the most part to drinking even socially. I do partake occasionally but not often. Deep down I feel alcoholism is in my genetics, so I steer clear, unless the occasion is perfect. Judgmental behavior. I want my kids to know that I truly love them because of who they are and not feel like they have to hit a certain parts of who they are because they are afraid I won't care about them anymore. Constantly comparing myself to other people's kids and belittling my own achievements. I became my mother's only confidant from a young age to the point where I was telling her she needed to get a divorce when I was only 14 to 15. I would never put my hypothetical children in a position where I'm emotionally dependent on them in that way. Beat me up. Really poor food choices. I'm 32, when I was 14 my dad shot himself, leaving my mum with 4 kids, 14, 12, 3 and 1. 3 years ago my brother hung himself, he was going to be 18. 1 year ago my mum committed suicide, while I was heavily pregnant with my girl, I couldn't fly to her funeral. I have 2 kids, a 4 years old and a 10 month old. This got longer than I was planning to make it. 
I've learned never say never in regards to parenting, but I never want to put my kids through what my parents put my siblings and I through. Edit I never thought my comment would get so much attention in reading every reply, but I can't respond to all of them. Just know that I'm so grateful for the outpouring of love and support you've shown me and those who have lost others to suicide. For those that are thinking of it, you are loved, worthy and I'm sorry. Please message me if you ever need to talk to someone. Tell me I depress them when I confide in them. Have too many pets in the house. I loved them all but at the highest we had 11 cats and 3 dogs and it was just kind of embarrassing and I never wanted to bring people over to my house. Redo things they've done because it's not the exact way I would have done it. My mom would refold the laundry or remake my bed. Drove me nuts and made me feel like why even bother trying? Minimize anything they pursue. Edit. Hey thanks for the award that's so kind. Teaching them by comparing them to their own better behaved slash smarter siblings. In a very condescending manner row fc. Random beatings because I decided they were thinking something I don't like. Periodic insults to keep them from getting arrogant. You know what you did. Wake them from a dead sleep on a school night to introduce them to my drunk friends I just came home with because I'm a bartender. Not be affectionate. My mom was very distant and not a physically emotional person with me growing up. I realized that if I have kids I'd want to read to them, hug them, celebrate their accomplishments, overall have them feel comfortable with me to share their thoughts or feelings. Edit. Whoa. Was not expecting any of the comments or upvotes at all. I just post and keep it moving. But you know what? Hugs for all. Only if you consent. I enjoyed reading some of the comments so far and will continue. This was has been the most affection I've gotten in quarantine. So I hope you're all doing better than I am. When I was little. When my dad was doing anything out in the yard my brother and I would ask if we could help. The answer was always you can help by staying out of the way. My kids are always allowed to help and so feel they can contribute, grow a sense of self-worth and an appreciation of group effort. Fucking bribe them to stay home and not hang out with friends. I became super antisocial and had anxiety when doing almost anything. Kids need to go out and socialize and make mistakes. Edit. Glad I'm not alone in parent-induced social anxiety. I feel like I should mention that I love my mother very much. She was a single mother with massive paranoia issues and did the best she could. In the end, I turned out okay and I have overcome the majority of my anxiety. Still, I feel that I've missed out on a lot of childhood moments, which is why I will never do that to my kids, as per the post. Being too strict. Doing this can actually make my child good in lying, which is not cool. Never actually saying I love you. Semicolon. Edit. Just so everyone knows, my parents are very supportive, and I know they love me, they just lack a little in the showing emotions side of things. I won't scorn them, or yell at them, when they mess up. I was a really sensitive kid, so when my parents told me to go to hell, or called me a fucking moron, it tore at me and distorted my self-image. If I have kids, I can't imagine ever doing to them what my parents did to me. Edit. This was my parents' attempt to get me to grow thicker skin. But words hurt. One thing led to another and depression began to take its hold. And at such a young age too. The thought of depression and self-hatred that required therapy sessions to manage terrified me. Thankfully, they took the hint and settled down, and I still keep in touch with them. If you don't stop crying, I'll give you something to cry about. That was stupid to me at 10 years old. Physical punishment made me really resent them. My kids are 16, 18, and 20 and they are fucking amazing human beings. And my parents actually bragged to people how we didn't slash don't use physical punishment. So that feels good. I was not allowed to have any friends or date. 
Also I had my door taken off at 14 and told I didn't deserve privacy because I slammed it. Guilt tripping, physical and emotional abuse. Edit, I asked to hang a sheet up for privacy AMD they said I didn't deserve privacy for slamming my door. I had my first ever panic attack, that way in my stepdad told me to stop over exaggerating. My depression and anxiety was always belittled. I was in a mental hospital and my dad and stepmom came to see me, and my stepmom just kept telling me what a horrible person I was, and that I was just there, to get away from her. Also my stepdad would call me a slut, and punish me for things my brother did. He also molested me on several occasions, and when I told my mom he convinced her I was lying. He told me my feelings didn't matter, but if my kid ever came forward and said something like that about my spouse, I would not just not believe them and accuse them of lying. Put the other parent first. I remember my mom left me and my cousin at Eclairs an hour after closing because she had to make sure her husband was fed and settled. I still feel for that Claire's employee that sat with us after closing. Edit, no my stepdad was not abusive, my mom was just overcompensating because of how unhappy she was when she was with my dad. Force them to play sports they don't want to play competitively until adulthood. You're being put up for adoption 